You know, I can't think of a guitar that captures the sound of 60s folk rock better than a Rickenbacker 12 string. So I busted out my Rickenbacker 12 string for this lesson today. We're gonna dive into how to play Ticket to Ride by the Beatles. So let's get straight into it here. The first part is this iconic intro that's all based around an A chord. And we're gonna use a technique called arpeggio picking. It sounds like this. One, two, three, four. So the idea here is that we're breaking up the chord and instead of strumming all the strings, we're actually gonna pick individual strings. And this has really been sort of the basis of so many famous guitar parts, right? Like if you think about Sweet Home Alabama. There's so many examples of songs that, that was funny, it's Sweet Home Alabama on a 12 string. But if you think about this technique, you know, it's used in so many famous guitar parts. And really it's all just coming out of the chord. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant down an A chord. Open, two, 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 open, okay? And I play this with, with this finger configuration here. So two, one, three. And that's what I would recommend you doing. Now, if that's too hard, you can also just play kind of two fingers like this, or these two fingers, because we're not really playing the full A chord. We're just gonna be on the top three strings to play this riff. So we're gonna play the third string, and then we'll play the first string, then the second string, then back to the third string. So it starts on that third string, goes up to the first string, and then sort of back pedals through the strings. Okay, now here, we're gonna open up the second string and play the open B, and then we'll play the open E, the first string, so. And then it resets. Two. So we're starting with that quarter note, one, and, and then we'll play eighth notes, two and three and, then let that ring until the and of four, four and, and that's our last note. So it's a one bar pattern. So that's the classic intro there, and I'm gonna walk you through the rest of this song, but if you're new to the channel, I wanna give you a gift right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that shows you how to map out your entire fretboard, which is five chords and five scales, and this is a system that I use. It's a framework for the neck that I use every time I play anything. And I want you to have this completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or you can click the first link down below. And this is something, it's just one page. You can print it out, keep it on your music stand. It's gonna serve you for the rest of your life playing guitar. So I hope you enjoy that. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide. It's completely for free. All right, so after the intro, we're gonna play the intro four times, and then we'll go to the verse. And the verse plays that riff six times. So we're gonna go one, Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, then we're gonna move up to a B minor bar chord. And this is played in second position here from the fifth string down, two, four, four, three, two. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna play this strumming pattern. It's gonna go down, 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 up, down, up. Or one and two and three and four and two quarter notes. One, two, and then four eighth notes. Three and four and. Okay, then we'll switch chords. We'll go to an E. And this is open, two, two, one, open, open. We'll use the same strumming pattern. This is sort of the main pattern for the song. So we come out of the riff. B minor, two, three, and four, and E, two, three, and four, and. 
Then we go into the chorus, She's Got a Ticket to Ride. Now we've got a couple new chords here. We're gonna start on an F sharp minor. And this is played as a bar chord at the second fret, two, four, four, two, two, two. And then we'll go to D7. This is played from the fourth string down, open, two, one, two. And then we also have a G chord. And for this G, you can play a four finger G. I a lot of times just play a three finger G like this. This is the third fret of the low E. I mute the fifth string, then open, open, three, three. Okay, so our progression is gonna go F sharp minor, two, three, to D7, two. Then F sharp minor again, this time to G. Then back to F sharp minor then E, then back to the riff two times. Okay, so that's the chorus again over the lyrics, she's got a ticket to ride. Now I'm gonna keep that same strumming pattern going the entire time, except for when I switch back to the riff on the A, then I go to the arpeggio picking. Now the only other time the pattern changes is you can when you get the G, you can just hit that and let it ring for a whole note. So all together, the chorus would go like this. One, two, three, four. Let it ring. Two, three, four. Riff. All right, the only other part you need to know is the bridge. And the lyric cue here is, I don't know why she's riding so high. We're gonna start on the D7 chord. Okay, we're gonna play that for three bars. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, and four. And then we'll go to E for one bar. Same strumming pattern as before. And we'll go back to D7 for three bars. We'll hit an E, two, three, four, then. And we do just a little build there on the E chord. So it's two bars of E at the end there. So E, two, three, four, build. And that's just all downs, eighth notes. One, and two, and three, and four, and riff. So that bridge is D7 for three bars, E for one bar, then D7 for three bars again, E for two bars. Here it is all together. I don't know why she's riding so high. One, two, three, four. Back to D7. So there you have it. Those are the parts you need to know to play Ticket to Ride by the Beatles. Now again, a lot of this sound is that jangly 12 string, but if you don't have a 12 string, it still sounds great on six string as well. So be sure to rewind the video, go over any parts that are unclear, and to help you start creating your own riffs like this and understand how chords and scales connect together, then grab my free fretboard guide. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or click the first link down below and this is gonna be so useful for your guitar playing. Again, it's completely for free. So hope you enjoy that. As always, thanks for watching and for more Beatles guitar, check out this lesson next.